Welcome to day 18 of my 100 days of Webflow journey. Today we're going to do something very simple. We're going to import a large CSV file into our Webflow CMS. So what we're going to do is that we're going to import a large CSV file into the Webflow CMS with just a few clicks and we're going to see how to map out each field correctly and make sure that the process turns out smoothly and gives us the result that we want. But don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like this video and let's get to it. So what I have here is this CSV file. You see it's a simple CSV file with some numbers, some links and some no and some names. And then I want to import it here. So I go to uh, my CMS, I go to the CMS that I want. I go to it, I click import and then I drag that file into the import. I click next. And now I see, I can see a sample of my import, like one of the items that are in the actual CSV file. And I can see it as a sample here. And then I can connect everything to each other. So first thing is name. And I want to connect the name uh, to the name. So this, this part here, it says apartment name. And then the address will connect to address. So this is done automatically because it detected that this is this title in my CSV file, it's called city. So it detected that this city is the same as the city field that I built on the CMS. And if it doesn't detect, you can always create a new field and make it be there like as a new field. So that's up to you. That depends on your upload. It will depend on how well you prepared your CSV file comparing to the CMS importing place or the CMS collection that you build out. So here, for example, maximum beds, we're just going to map it to maximum beds. So we have uh, maximum bedrooms. So here it's called maximum bedrooms. Here it's maximum bed. So it didn't detect that. But if it was called correctly, it might have detected it. So here's minimum baths, minimum bathrooms, maximum baths will be maximum bathrooms. And uh, the minimum and maximum is good for range reasons. So if you want to make a range uh, filter later on, it's good to have minimum and maximum. So now you see everything is connected. Uh, even URLs can be connected, which is uh, quite surprising because before it wasn't. And I used to use a tool called Power Importer. And uh, if you have some like complicated stuff, like for example, this switch, you can't connect anything that tells the switch to be on or off. So you might need to use a tool like Power Importer, but that's uh, that's all good for today. So we connected everything and now we have 433 items and we say, yes, we want to import them. And let's see how this result turns out. All right, so we have imported all 433 items and we can see them all here, which is great. And now if I go to my CMS, or the, the, the build that I made for the CMS, I can see everything is here as the way I built it, as the way I wanted it to be. And that's basically how you import a large, num a large amount of content into your file. And uh, later on you can customize. So basically this is how you import a large CSV file into Webflow. Now this is something that can be very useful uh, for your client or for your work if you have a lot of content to work with. But uh, otherwise, it's always good to just be consistent and make sure that everything is linked correctly and everything is mapped out correctly so you avoid any errors. Thank you for watching the video. I hope I taught you something today. I know this was simple, but today is day 18. We still have a long way ahead. So turn on that notification bell, subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for day 19. See you tomorrow.